And everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Chicago Bears here at Soldier Field. Two incredibly talented linebackers leading their defenses onto the field today. You know, and what is really unique that these defenses realize how talented these linebackers are, so they do everything they can to protect them. They put defensive linemen in front of them, so when the play happens, this linebacker can stop the running game and still have an opportunity if it is a pass to get back there and try to break up some passes. The returner opts for the touchback and the offense will begin at the 20. Hester's lined up in the slot. The quarterback will hand it off. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. First and ten. Down the field. That's an interception. So that's a two-point safety for the defense. Looking to make a difference. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. Hester's lined up now as a slot receiver. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. He's got some daylight. The tackle is made. Always hard to pick up that first first down. Good job by the offensive coordinator designing some plays, keeping the defense off balance to get his team in rhythm. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You yeah, come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second and 14. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gains 19. Oh, there's nothing like a play action pass when the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run. The linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw down the field for that completion. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield to Marshall. Touchdown! Nothing like having a quarterback with a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when the receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. So they convert it here on the two-point try. Bears ready to kick the football. Spins out of the defender's clutches.
bring in the extra tight end. First and 10. He's in the clear. Gains 11. Greg Chiano sure picked the right running back down in Tampa Bay. He picks Doug Martin from Boise State. And what a terrific rookie year. This guy has power and speed. What a great combination. Martin's in the backfield. Single back set. Here's the quick toss. He's got some daylight. Nice chunk of yardage picked up by Doug Martin. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. He makes the catch. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle, bad tackling, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. The Buccaneers now will tack on the extra point. Driving extra point is good. Buccaneers ready to boot things underway. Signals right away, fair catch. Get ready. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. First down and 10. Matt Forte wide to the left for about three. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Forte's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just, you just played right into their hands. And they got the tackle for the loss. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. To the right side, picks up nine. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards, nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Hester's in the slot, eyeing that left side. Hester's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality Let's corner. Go. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Play number six coming up on this drive. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Crossing routes, that's what you want to throw when you see this type of coverage. Four deep, cover four. Look for guys going across the field. Hard for the defense to cover those throws. How did he drop that? Well, he dropped the football. There's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Nickel formation here for the defense. To Marshall. And it's incomplete. The Buccaneers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. And the quarterback is taken down. You're talking about a bonus. When you get a defensive tackle that can get in the backfield and sack the quarterback, that is something special. Great job that time by the big D tackle. That ball was going the other way. Good piece of tackling. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker.
Martin's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Martin goes to the left as the going to take it the distance. What an effort by Martin. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Play action, looking to the right side and throwing. That ball was in his hands. It's really simple. Keeps your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it. And that's what happened that time. Jackson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third down and eight. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That'll stop the play right there. I love seeing the post route against defenses that are up there being aggressive, trying to stop the run. You go down the field. How about that? Stick that foot into the ground, make that break at 10 yards, and run right down the middle of the field on that post route. First down, following the long play. Martin's taking the handoff. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Coming up, second down. Back to the ground. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Martin's lined up in a single back formation. He'll fire it out to the left. He didn't look it in. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves, these wide receivers wear. My gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. The Buccaneers are at the line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. Good job that time by the defense. They give up the long drive, but on fourth down, they come through. What a good play call, and they stop the offense. They come to the line, and it's first down. Throws to the right, and incomplete. Now the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. The defense comes out of the nickel. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The tackle is made, but the first down is picked up. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Intercepted. They've got him down there. I, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Right, it's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. And complete. Muscles through the defender. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you've got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. Let's go. First and ten to Williams. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. Second down after the incompletion. He stacked up at that point. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are seeing, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. And not until they pick up good yardage as he brought down. Offside defense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up.
First down following the penalty. On first down, it's back to the ground game. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. Second down coming up, staying on the ground. And that'll be good for the first. Nothing too exciting here, just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think they're going to stop this offense. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and goal from the one. They break through, tackle him behind the line. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. That was a good job on the defense, getting that tackle inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if they're good enough to keep the offense out of the end zone. Fourth down. Got to get it into the end zone. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs. It's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Hester's a receiver in the slot. Trying to work that left side. Game's 20. Nice job by the receiver. Runs the curl route that time. Curl is exactly what it says. Go down the field, make a little curl motion. Quarterback throws it in there. First and 10, it's handed to the running back. And that's a gain of nine. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Third and eight. Hester's going to secure the handoff, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. comes out in the nickel challenging the defender the ball is out and it's a takeaway that's what you call a takeaway the defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble inside the last two minutes this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs they challenged the call on the field and in fact it was the proper thing to do the play is overturned yeah good job by the officials upstairs seeing it knowing there was a mistake on the field that's what i love about the nfl They're not afraid to admit to say they made mistakes and turn them around first and ten matt forte gets it here he's brought down right around the 43 yard line good coaching on the defensive side everybody stays at home they stay in their gap and they hold that run to a short game the handoff to Matt Forte gets past the first wave. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. The offense got to be happy with that. First and ten. Marshall's going to take the handoff now. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Nickel formation for the defense here. Throws the pass. He's brought down. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. Deshaun Goldson with the interception. Breaks free. They bring him to the turf. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position, when you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Wright's playing out of position in the backfield here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Brought down, picks up the first as he's tackled at the 40. 
the defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. And he's intercepted. Tackles made. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. To Marshall. But it's incomplete. Well, there's no doubt about it. This guy has a strong arm. That time he just sails the football way past the receiver deep down the field. Breathe that defense here and trying to avoid the deep pass. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment but could not pick it off cleanly. Looking at third down. Almost intercepted. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Buccaneers lined up in the nickel. Going for the deep ball. Right down Broadway. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down. You get it. I'll give you that. But I still think it was a bad decision. Breaking huddle at the 14-yard line. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. Working that left side. Chicago in the end zone. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. So that's going to do it for the first half. Bears are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Bears lead by 10. Martins lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Going to lose yards here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Jackson's lined up in the slot. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Interception. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. First down here. Throws to the right. Very nearly intercepted. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route. And what happens? Hey, the quarterback you know, just overthrows. I'm on the fuck out, boy. So don't think you just going the fuck out. You are not. Hey, they all want to fuck out. To Marshall. Makes the catch. Deep down the middle of the field. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at this finish around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Escaping the pressure. How much does this thing? They get the touchdown, but little they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to haunt them.
tackles made right around the 26-yard line. Martins lined up as the single back. Throwing out to his left. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. They're going to get him here for a sack. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz at times, and they take the quarterback down. Third and 20. He'll fire it out to the left. Throws a strike. Tampa in the end zone for the touchdown. Well, that's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. Let's go. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Bear catch signal made. They'll send him to the 20-yard line. and 10. Matt Forte, he'll go left. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Nickel formation here for the defense. Let's go. Second and nine. The pass is intercepted. They pounce on him there. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. First down on the way. Looks to his left. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Martin is in the backfield. Second and ten. The throw to the left. He had no time to get set. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. And he hauls it in. The Buccaneers get a first down. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Ah, uh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go. If you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. Lining up now for the two. Going to drop back, looking for it. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Their catch signal. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The 
quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped. Second down and 11. Ball's picked off. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. Martin's in the backfield, single back set. Eyeing that left side. That ball has been picked off. He's in the clear. He's at the 50. He's got room. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. And in for the touchdown. When a defense intercepts a pass like that and scores a touchdown, boy, does that give them hope. Gives them a lot of confidence. They really get the momentum on their side, and it's going to be hard for the offense to come out here and do anything after that play. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Bears ready to kick the football. The same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Jackson's in the slot. First and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Buccaneers now move the chains. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First and 10. Action fake. They're going to get him this time. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? He'll fire it out to the left. And Williams. You know, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Buccaneers team official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sacked the quarterback. Time. It's like uh, you stand on the tee box and you're trying to hit a 300 yard drive and you miss hit it and it goes 200. That's exactly what happened to the kick that time. It was just a miss. -in. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and 10. Pesters handed the football. Hester's going to get set in the slot for this snap. To the ground here. Running to his right. He's got a wide open alley. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. The off-tackle run. It's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. To 10. Back to the ground now on first down. Spins away from the tackle. That brings the play to an end. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there.
the defense comes out in the nickel. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. In on the stop. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Third down and one. Hester's got it on the handoff. And that's a gain of 10. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Bringing the play to an end. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. And they sack the quarterback. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Backed up into third and 15. Forte's taking the handoff. Touchdown. Well, what a play for the touchdown, and I'll tell you, in the NFL, there's so many good players on offense now, you can never have enough points, so keep padding on that lead. Good job. Good score. Count it. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down coming up. Doug Martin, he's going to the left. Running it, it's second down. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. Fights through that hit. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. And James has got the carry once more. It's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Touchdown, and they get one back. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. And the point after is good. Buccaneers ready to boot things underway. They'll take it at the 20.
first down. Offense readying for the snap. They run the counter play. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Second down following the run. Hester's going to secure the handoff. The tackle is going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. First and ten, trying to work that left side. Twists away from the hit. Breaks the tackle. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Two-minute warning. First down here. Matt Forte gets it here. He's headed right, and that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. The pass complete. Picks up maybe three. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. That reception gave them the first down. and 10. Hester's going to take the handoff now. Nice tackle. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Let's go. Second down and five. Staying on the ground. Trying to find an opening to the right. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Let's go. First down and 10. Right back to him one more time. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter. You still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. 